Is it normal for an aging parent to often forget things that happened recently? Or to keep asking the same question over and over again, yet still be able to recall things that happened a long time ago? Stay tuned to find out. Hello everyone, welcome to Helping Older Parents with Memory Loss, a video podcast series that gives you strategies and information about assisting aging parents who are experiencing memory or thinking problems. I'm your host, Dr. Leslie Kernison, board-certified geriatrician and the founder of Better Health While Aging, and also of the Helping Older Parents online programs. In today's episode, I wanna talk about something that I think is really important to understand if you have an aging parent, which is this. Is it normal to have short-term memory loss as one gets older? Now, you may not have actually wondered if this is normal or not. In my experience, many people believe that it is normal to develop short-term memory loss, especially as people get into their 80s and 90s. But here's the thing, it's actually not normal to become very forgetful as you get older. Specifically, it is not normal aging if you've noticed your parent is doing things like asking the same question repeatedly, forgetting what happened recently, like earlier in the day or earlier in the week, or repeating the same stories or statements. Now, you may be thinking that, well, don't mental abilities decline somewhat as people get older? Well, that is true. That's because the brain, just like all the rest of the body, does experience what we call normal aging. Now, today I'm not gonna go into the deep science of what is aging and how it affects cells and organs. It is a really interesting topic and there's also really interesting research being done on this topic at this time. For now, I'll just say that the effect of normal aging is that cells and organs work less efficiently as people get older. This is why we develop wrinkles or take longer to recover from injuries as we age. And in the brain, normal aging means that your brain does get a little slower when it comes to executing most thinking processes. So for memory, this can mean that it takes longer to remember something or to figure something out. Other things that usually fall into normal memory changes as people get older include occasionally forgetting where you left things you use regularly, such as glasses or keys, having trouble remembering names for a bit, or occasionally forgetting an appointment or walking into a room and forgetting why you entered, or becoming easily distracted or having trouble remembering what you just read or the details of a conversation. Last but not least, it is normal to have a little bit of trouble and find yourself not quite able to retrieve information that you have on the tip of your tongue. These types of mental slowdowns, again, are common and they are considered normal, but it should not be considered normal if your parent is unable to remember recent events and they should not be repeating themselves or repeating questions because they can't remember what has happened. So again, Developing short-term memory loss is not normal as people get older. So if you have an aging parent and you think you perhaps are noticing some memory loss, what should you do? Well, first and foremost, don't treat it as normal. Instead, you need to treat it as a sign that there might be something amiss with your aging parent's brain function. Now, where do you go from there? This really depends on a few things. Briefly, they are what's been happening with your parent in terms of their behaviors and abilities. How aware is your parent of their memory loss and how do they feel about it? Has the memory loss been brought to their doctor's attention and have they been adequately medically evaluated? Can their memory loss problems be treated or improved? And that, by the way, is going to depend on what's found to be the underlying cause of the memory problems when they get medically evaluated. Another consideration is, does your parent seem to need some support and assistance now to maintain their health, well-being, safety, and ability to maintain their independence? So those are some of the things that you'll wanna consider. And how exactly to assess those things, and what actions to take, and how to talk to your parent about this, these are also really important things for you to know. So I'll be breaking those down in upcoming episodes of this series. Or if you would like to have a handy written guide that you can consult as you listen, or if you need to put your head together with a sibling, I wrote a book for people just like you that lays out step-by-step processes for what you should do if your parent is showing signs of memory loss or is otherwise worrying you. And uh, I wrote this book because I get asked about this topic a lot and it's more than I can write about in one of our online articles. 
But now I'm making the video series because I know that not everybody finds the book or wants to buy a book. So we'll be covering a lot of similar information in this series, but if you want an easy reference, this will probably be the easiest way to reference my suggestions as you go through this series. So again, my geriatrician's key takeaway for you today is that short-term memory loss is not a normal part of aging. So if your aging parent has become forgetful or is repeating themselves or otherwise seems to have developed a poor short-term memory, please know that this is probably a sign of something being off in their brain function. Fortunately, they have you in their life to notice and to help make sure that steps are taken to investigate and to maintain their health and well-being. And I'll be covering more of those steps you can take in the upcoming episodes. And now, if you have a parent with memory loss, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Had you been assuming that their poor short-term memory was normal? And how have their memory problems been affecting your family's life? Okay, that's gonna be it for today. So thank you for watching this. Thank you for thinking about your aging parent. And I'll see you in an upcoming episode.